Welcome to another YouTube video guys. Today we are not going to be talking about this truck, but a new Gen 14 F-150. So all these new F-150s come with the auto stop start feature. I'm going to show you how you can easily disable that with Forcecam. Okay, we're going to disable the auto stop start on the F-150 using Forcecam. So with the auto stop start, it always stays on as soon as you turn the truck on. But you have the ability to turn it off, right? Turn it off. Manually, right? you have to turn it off right here. And that's to tell you that it's off. And here's on the dash telling you that it's deactivated. Awesome. So let's see what it looks like whenever we're driving around with the AC going and see it turned off. I'm always concerned with one thing. How often is a starter supposed to start an engine? <laughs> to me, it's like an excessive amount of restarts over and over and over. Yes. Well, I've heard that the starters on these trucks are a lot more durable. Well, but, I would like but it's to still. think so. But yeah. sometimes, and right, like right now, I let go of the brake, it's on. But when I hold the brake, especially when I'm slowing down like this, you'll actually hear it kick off. It's still on. Still on. One, two, three, four, five. five. So it takes about four to five seconds and it turns off by itself. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And it kicks on right when I let go of the brake. If, however, I'm in a hurry yep. and I let go of the brake and I immediately accelerate. Right. I've heard the engine not start or choke or hesitate okay. or sputter or stutter. I don't know what it is, but sometimes that starter does not go as fast. Oh, really? Now, is it wearing out? And then after so many seconds, it'll kick on up by itself, even if you're still holding the brake down. Is that just because the AC is on? or I don't know. I just know it's, that it just if you're waiting itself. long enough, if you're at an extremely long red light, it will kick on automatically, and it's probably because of personal comfort, air conditioning. Yes. So after a while, will it turn off again? I haven't waited that long. Okay. I don't know. So there's two ways of fixing this. I've heard... Well, there's a couple things. I've heard that... If your car is turning off for about six seconds, then you're automatically saving gas. Mm -hmm. Because the initial startup of a car or a truck, mm -hmm. especially a V8, maybe even seven or eight seconds, I don't know. And the initial startup does take a little longer. It uses up a little more gas than whenever you're just cruising or on idle, right? Mm -hmm. But the other thing, is like you said the usage of that starter and then there's two ways to get rid of this auto start stop auto stop start one of them is hooking up uh some because this is all connected straight to the battery somehow i really don't know how it's connected but it's somehow to the battery and there's an adapter you can buy and hook it up to the battery and it'll bypass that stop part it won't oh, turn off on you oh okay so that's okay. A, that's a physical hardware that's change hardware change yes okay. but now easier would be a Option two is force scan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the benefit of using force scan is you don't you don't have to buy a hardware just for one thing. You can use force scan for multiple things that you want to get done, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which we're gonna do today. Cool. All right, so we're gonna connect force scan down there to the OBD two port. Don't turn the truck on. Just push the button without pushing the brake. There it is. Hit OK. All right, so I'm going to click over here to connect. Full accessory active. OK. So it just says keep it on on if you have a switch. Don't do this while you're driving. That's <laughs> probably a good warning, right? Yeah. Right, and this is going to be because of this this new uh, connection that I have. It's mm -hmm. a lot faster, so it tells you it can move faster on here. All right, so it's reading the vehicle info. So this is the first time we connected this video, this uh, vehicle. So it's going to take a little second to actually connect. Okay. It's going to read every single one of the modules. Sweet. Let's go ahead and save the profile. All right, so down see on the bottom here it says ready. Mm -hmm. That means we're ready to go. Sweet. All right, so we're in configuration, and the first thing we look at is the body control module. 
If you can go into the body control module without the as built format, just the regular configuration and hit run. Actually, I think mine's already running. Mm -hmm. It says on this side. So you just hit run and then we're going to scroll down here to see the auto stop start. And we're going to select and we're going to disable it. And we're going to write it. So we're going to check it off and then we're going to write. And it's going to say, are you sure? Hit yes. Everything should turn off and on. This is a restart. Okay. And it says to cycle the engine off. Turn the engine off right there. Give it a second and turn it back on. We're going to hit OK. Okay, so let's go test it out. I'm going to hit stop. And then we're going to disconnect. We're disconnected. All right, you want to unplug it there and let's just go test it. Okay, the, the, that guy over here is showing auto start start auto normal operation. I've already turned the truck on. Okay. This button still shows as if it was enabled. The okay. button is still showing but we didn't mess with the button feature. We, we didn't. Just, we just, yeah. okay. All so right. all we did is turn the truck on and we're driving away. We're gonna see what it does. And that's normal vehicle operation. All right, so I'm gonna pretend I'm stopping at a light. It has not kicked off. It has not stopped itself. Yeah, it says engine on due to vehicle charging. So the changing or the disabling of the feature for auto stop start, it <coughs> somehow tricks the engine to thinking that it's always charging. So it never turns off. All right, I'll try it one more time. Sweet! Mission accomplished. <laughs> so mission accomplished. Thanks, Frank. But I also want to show you how to do this in the as-built format, okay? Alright, so besides going into the BCM module, option two is going into the as-built format, right? So if you go into the as-built, you're going to hit run. Read the warning signs. All right, so in here you can go into the BCM 726-4802. So it's gonna be pretty far down. Seven twenty six forty eight zero two. 726-4802. 726-4802, always double and triple check the right location you're at. And here, this second digit right here, you're gonna make that a zero. Okay, this is already a zero here. But you're going to make this, whatever digit you have, if you have a 1 there, then you make it a 0, right? It has to be a 0. So that'll stop, that'll disable it also through the as-built profile. The other option you have is, this is optional, you can also disable the button, the actual button itself. Here, for that, you're going to have to go to, hit stop, we're going to go back to configurations. For that, you need to go into the FCIM. And you're gonna hit run, read the warnings. 
All right, here you're gonna go into the 7A70101. And it's gonna be the second set here. That very second digit again. The second digit needs to be a zero. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit stop. All right, guys, so the other optional one's gonna be the IPC. I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna hit run. All right, and this is gonna be the 720101. And this is gonna be that very first digit right there. It needs to be a one, okay? That is to disable the actual message that comes up on the IPC. Okay, the, in, the instrument cluster. All right. Stop. We're gonna go back home and disconnect. All right guys, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos I got too. And a big shout out to Frank for letting us work on this truck. Deuce. Man, you gotta love these big Texas skies.